What's up? <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's going on? How are you guys doing? <clears throat> How are you guys doing today? Good day, Riri. How are you? How are you guys doing? <clears throat> What's up? How are you doing? Hello. Okay. Um, Nini Okoro. What's up? All right. You guys are fine. That's fine. That's good to know. You're good, nice. We don't come as usual. I, I know you don't meet me now. I meet the here, uh, full grand. A full grand. Full cow gundeli. How are you? All right. In case in case I didn't mention your name, it means your name is difficult to pronounce. <laughs> In case I didn't mention your name, it means your name is very difficult to pronounce. So if you need to help me, you need to type out your name and I will say hi. Lola from Texas, how are you? You see, when you look at the name, you can't pronounce it. All right. I think I dash you this, my heart. No, I can't. I cannot dash you. <clears throat> my sugar mama gave it to me. She will be mad. I beg, try my name. Ulu, Ulu Adam, Lola. How are you? Adams, how are you doing? Steph from Toronto. I, your own name is simple. Adams from Canada. That's good. Okay. Bisoye from California. You see now? Ophelia from Ghana. What's up, my sister from Ghana? How are you doing? Dibola. All right, how are you doing? Is this Dibola is easy to pronounce. Jumi from Dubai. What's up? Fe. All right. That's okay. That's all right. Good evening. Happy week. Happy week to you too. But you are my sugar papa too now. <laughs> Don't let my sugar mommy catch you. Amaka, how are you doing? Uh, Fola Shadi from UK. Shaliwa from UK. How are you? Debbie from Indiana. Indiana. Ha. I don't want to hear Indiana. If I hear Indiana, I go, I go shout. All right. Fiodo from Abidjan. Dennis from Utah. Amina from Finland. Inka from Toronto. That's good. All right. Let's leave that alone for now. At DBC from the UK. Okay, I need, I need, I need a fine girl who could accompany accompli me on vacation. A fine girl. Are you doing from Nigeria? How are you? I need a fine girl that is ready to go with me on vacation because the the vacation is going to be on the sea. It's going to be on the sea, and uh, my wife is is not interested in anything water. Anything water, she's not. But I need a babe. A fine babe. You must be fine. You must be... I don't want tall girl. I don't want you to be tall. Don't be tall. If you're tall, I won't take you. I want someone between 5... Maybe 5'4 five, and 5'6. Five, five, or 5'6. Five, yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. You will tell my wife, she's listening, she's over there. She's in the living room listening to me right now. You don't have to tell her. I'm looking for trouble. Yeah, I like trouble. You think they are the joke? Okay, you go to, you go to see how the joke go. Oh. Thank God you're five two. <laughs> you're six two. Okay, okay, okay. Five two is not, five two won't work. Five two, no, you know they work. You have to be, you have to be five four, five six. I, I want her not to be too thin, not to be too 
Robux uh, in the middle. It's some, we have to hold something. We 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 can't be holding Palake. I don't want born. And, and and I was I was be able to carry the the person must be must be liftable. You know, liftable, portable. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You fit, you fit in. Okay. Funke or Gunele say, I fit in. And the person must not be married. You must be married though. No married, no married women. He <laughs> said, that's a joke. <laughs> I am one one. <laughs> Yo. I'm qualified, but I have to bring my wife. Sorry, your husband, your husband can't call. You have to bring your husband. No, no. How many times? You call me one time. <laughs> you call me one time. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. 3-5, I don't want 3-5. Three, 3-5 three, is the immediate. All right, leave that one alone. If you guys, you guys are not qualified. You are not qualified to go. You are not qualified to go. But you are a married man. No, married... We, married man, eh? Me, I'm allowed to be married. She's not. She's not. She's not allowed to be married. I'm allowed to be married. But she's not. I think... Here we go. The birthday girl is here. Is here today. Demilade's birthday is today. This is a birthday girl is here. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. How old are you now? Da, da, da. How old are you now? Da, da, da. How old are you now? De me. Ah, old are you now? You are four eleven. Don't don't. You are not qualified. You <laughs> suspended married for 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 what? For whole shot. Okay. So happy birthday to you. happy birthday to Demilani. We don't want a second wife. Okay, don't worry. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's uh let's jump on the show today, real quick. Alright. Uh guys, I'm gonna post Demilade's Zell info. You have to send out some stuff. You have, you have to, it's compulsory, you have to send out some stuff. Alright. Okay, so let's go. Nigerian men, they are hot cakes now. Nigerian men, they are all they are hot cakes. When you say somebody's hot cake, Nigerian men, you know, they are very hot right now. Very hot. And uh, you know, it's good. It's good. It's good to be hot. Nigerian men, they are hot right now. Um the Ghanaian people are looking for them. Cameroonians are looking for them. Black Americans are looking for them. Uh, the Caucasians are looking for them. I, I'm telling you, and even like Jack women are looking for them. I don't know. Okay. Thomas, if they say hot cake, I want to say money. I want to say money. I Okuta ti awon omo le ko sile o ti wa di pataki igunle I don't know the English Okay so you see that uh, very funny now some of you ladies out there is <laughs> that you are not nice to Nigerian ladies <laughs> you guys are not nice to them too. You guys are you guys are not nice to them too now. <laughs> somebody somebody is quoting scripture, just chief corner stone, but <laughs> All right, so now some of you ladies out there, 
you you divorce your husband you divorce your husband because he cheated okay the man cheated and you divorced him it says who Okay. Let's go. So you divorced your husband because he cheated. All right? Now, you are now the side chick of another man. You divorced your husband because he cheated, but now you are the side chick of another man. Of another man. But I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to that one right now. I, I want to leave that one alone. Now, the story on my page now is that this woman, she's from Cameroon. She got married to a Cameroon, um, Cameroonian who is a man. And all her life, all her life, she's been dreaming Olaju Moke, how are you? So all her life she's been dreaming to have an affair with a Nigerian man. With a Nigerian man. Why? I'm not sure why, but probably because of the story that she must have been hearing that Nigerian men, they are King Kong. They go 16. 17, 3, 4, 5 rounds. Ah, I want to give it a try. And I want to let you guys know this. Niger men, they are very good when it comes to that part. There is nobody in this world that could beat a Nigerian man when it comes to Sam Validation. The middle name of a Nigerian of Nigerian man is Sam Validator. They can Sam Validate anything. Okay. So this man, but is it this man, uh, uh, this woman? Sorry, she she has been dreaming. She has been dreaming, dreaming. I need to have an affair with a Niger guy. I need. You think so? <laughs> you don't believe me, right? You don't believe me. You see. Niger men are not performing with Niger women. Niger men, they don't perform well with Niger women. But when they carry the fight, go outside. Niger men, they are the best. They are the best. I'm not going to lie to you. They are the best. When they carry the fight outside, they are the best. See, somebody says it's, it's all true. I'm not going to lie to you. You see, a Niger man will tell you, I cannot lick your plate, yo, because I am allergic to plate licking. Carry a foreigner, give the same Niger guy. Carry a black American woman, give that Niger guy. He go lick plates, like I used to say, it's a full-time job. I'm not going to lie to you. And that's why they're actually, the demand is so high. The demand, demand for Niger guys is so high. The demand for Niger guys is so high. Everybody's looking for them. Ghanaians are looking for them. Cameroonians are looking for them. South Africans are looking for them. Black Americans are looking for them. White Americans are looking for them because they are so good. But they're powerful. I'm not going to lie to you. Niger men, they cook, they, they cook then they cook anything. Once they are not with you, once they are not with you, they will cook anything for any girl. Niger men, they are very romantic. When they are with you, they might not be romantic, but when they are with another, ah, they are so romantic. You, will, you can't beat Niger when it comes to being romantic. 
You can't. You can't beat Nigeria when it comes to being romantic. Being romantic is their middle name. Is your middle name? I'm telling you. <laughs> Somebody said it's because of their open wallets. <laughs> Me, I'm looking for a Ghanaian man. Ah, somebody's looking for a Ghanaian man here. Yeah. Is it? They know how to. I want a woman when he almost a lady, Jay Beniti or Ruby Rinley. As a lady, Jay Beniti or Ruby Rinley. Be a goon, be a goon. Have a one Benile. Be a goon, be a goon. Side cheek, you want Benny Boro. <laughs> I want you. I want you. One point, yes, I lead JJ. Be a little Robin. Is it when African men, Nigerian men especially, when they go outside, they do a lead JJ. By the time I will call, by the time a side chick will call, <coughs> they will say, "Sorry, sweetheart, how are you doing? Is it okay? Do you need water? Can I give you something?" They know how to do that, but when they come to the house, oh, ba u koku o kuso nuzi bido wagi nuzi koto koma. Yani oh, ma bito zimbo mi. About the boss girl, but I will go to the mummy call. I don't who call a taro. You go and sit down somewhere. <laughs> when when African women will tell their husband, Why, what for what be come and touch this place? This is like my body is hot. Body is hot. You can lower your go and take a shower. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. No, no, me too to go if touch you, call touch you. But if it's but if it's the other, the side chick. They will say, ah, Bele, show me Bele, so speak to me. So, okay. Oh, you want to see me? You want to see me? They will carry her. They put her somewhere. They do all kinds of stuff. They know how to be romantic outside. And they are, they are, the demand is high. The demand is high. Somebody said, I'm looking for a relationship lasting one. You know, temporary one. No, I'm going to <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay? Now. Okay, now. What, what's happening is this. So this Cameroonian woman got married to a Cameroonian, uh, a man, and she started dreaming of having an affair with the Niger guy. So, she, she, shared, she shared the full story with me. All right, so I'm going to share it with you right now. I'm going to share it with you like right now. Okay? Based on what she has been hearing, based on what she's been hearing about Nigerian men, she believes that these guys are super hot. She believes that these guys, they are a performer. The horse power, their horse power is out of this world. Well, this one. And she wanted to feel that romance that a Niger man could give. Like Niger men, people talk about them that they're very romantic. They can shower you with gifts. They can buy you a car. They can build you a house. They can do all manners of things and all that kind of stuff. They can do it. So she started fantasizing in her head that I need a Niger man who is romantic, who is endowed whose horse power is out of this world who could perform better than this Cameroonian man that is in my house. And lo and behold, ah, you see, we have to be afraid or be scared of what your heart is thinking. But if you start thinking about something, it's going to happen. If you start thinking about something, if you start thinking of cheating, you're going to cheat. You will. You will. Something will come. There is going to be the opportunity will just show up. You see, the devil The devil is so good that the devil will present the opportunity that you cannot resist. The you know, opportunity you can't resist. So one day she she came across she came across <laughs> I, met, I met the Cameroonian who is his talent. <laughs> Stay! 
what is she not bole? What is she not bo step? What is that no bo step step? What is she not bo? What she not bo step? Oh, Barry, who's your daddy? <laughs> now only you, my life. See as we day like beans and rice. Oh, my baby, I will never leave your side. Mm. I dedicate my life uh, 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 to you, my daddy, my ZD. <laughs> Even if the road be rough, I don't mind. I will ever be your guy. Yay! Mm? Who's your daddy? <laughs> now, what did that noble step by? See, oh, yeah, our Carolina and the Danobo step. What did that? They don't give stuff like right, left, and center like crazy. Now she said it's a stallion. That's a stallion, huh? See, Mr. Stallion, no, what be? You know what so, so now, Steph is not going to tell us the full gist. Or if Steph wants to come on the show and tell us the full gist, I want to hear it. I love hearing bad news. All right? <laughs> Don't call me, John. Only basic. Mama, Mama, we love movie. We just want to. Me, we just want to. So, so what happened? What happened is that <laughs> Steph, you have to come and tell us the real truth. Oh. Tell us the truth, Steph. We want to hear the story of how the guy take perform. Okay. Me, yeah, I like to hear my news. <laughs> so, what happened is this. So she came across the Niger guy. You know, the Niger guy, very romantic guy, stuff, uh, said some things, and she fell for it. And that was how they started dating and stuff. And it's very difficult for, it's very, very difficult for her to forget the guy. And most of the time, she will go back and read their text messages like women do uh, when they are not feeling too good, when they are sad in their home. They go back to their boyfriend's messages, their uh, side cock messages, and uh, they start reading just to make them happy. Yeah, it's uh, it's therapy. It's therapy to their soul. Uh, when they read all these, uh, oh my God, I just love you. You are the most beautiful woman in the whole wide world. And, and, and one thing is that women don't understand that. We will always say that at the beginning. Men will say that they will give you compliments and all that kind of stuff like at the beginning and then you go and save those things and uh you know then you start talking about oh that was when we started and that love is still there and now there's no more love but usually it's just that you're forgotten that the more you are in a relationship the more you get used to it and then the more that the fire of that love will start going down the fire will start going down it's not gonna the fire won't remain the same way it used to be. <clears throat> but if you can spice it up, <clears throat> you can spice your relationship up, you'll still get a little bit, you know, you it's going to be a little, you know, close to the beginning. But it's never going to be like that. It's never going to be like it used to be when you guys just met. Boyfriend and girlfriend love is cannot be compared to marriage. Marriage, see, finish, go enter into marriage and it's going to mess a lot of things up. <clears throat> so, so they started doing all that kind of stuff and everything. And the husband found out that my wife has been sleeping with a Niger man. Okay? Sleeping with a Niger man. All right? So, and, and that's, uh, that's crazy. And based on the story, that man cheated too. He, 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 he was cheating himself. But right now, but right now, the wife... Is doing the same thing, but he is not ready to forgive. The wife has been forgiving him, even though in her mind, and a lot of women there also, you fantasize. You see a very handsome guy you want to sleep with. And then in your mind, you're doing it. Sometimes when you are doing DJ at night, when your husband is not around, he's working night shift, and you are doing DJ. You're scratching, chawa, 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 easy. That's the guy that will be in your brain. Because when you're masturbating, you must have the picture of a guy or a woman in your mind. Most of the time, it's going to be a woman that you cannot get. A woman you're looking at are far off, but you, it's not possible for you to talk to the person. So that's the person that you will be, you will have in your mind. 
Okay, so when women are doing DJ at night, that's what they think about. All right? And you know the Bible says that if you have thought about it, you have done it. If you have done it in your mind, it's real. So you have cheated also. Okay? So, so, uh, he's not ready to forgive. And, I, and I've been saying this to women. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. Once you have cheated and you feel like the husband is saying that's all right, the man is saying that's all right because he's trying to achieve something. Either <clears throat> he wants to get enough money, he wants to use you to build a house in Africa. There is a story of this woman who cheated and the husband didn't say a word. And every time you ask for money, the woman will give because she's feeling guilty. All right, the guilt will not let her rest. So every time the man will ask for money, it, she will give it. And this guy started building his house in Nigeria. And the moment he completed the house, actually, he released the bomb. And he told the woman, I don't want you in my life anymore. You cheated on me, and that's it. And whereas he himself was cheating before, and... You know, the woman kept on forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. But the moment you as a woman, if you cheat, that is the end. Okay? You've been, you've been catching your husband cheating all of this while. It won't count. It will not count. Go and sit down anywhere to talk about it. Call the Igbimonjo. Let them come. Call family meeting. Let them come. You will be able to open up your mouth and say, my husband cheated. They will say, uh-huh. And then your husband will say, she cheated. They will say, ha! Kilo day, why? Why will you do such a thing? And we are looking at you to be a good person. And we think you are a good mother, a good wife. Why will you? Why? And that's when they talk, 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 talk. And they talk and talk and talk. You cannot win. Oh, my husband cheated. They will say, uh-huh. Because in Africa, where we are from, even not in Africa alone, anywhere in the world, they believe if a man cheats, it's a credit. If a woman cheats, it's a failure. All right? That's F9. A and you're done. And that will be your end. Now, this particular woman now is being asked to leave the house. But she's saying that, but you cheated too? Oh, yeah. But now you have cheated and you are a woman. And I think it's not fear. And, and I think it's not fear on women. If you as a man could cheat, what a man could do, a woman should be able to do better. But if the two of you, if you have decided not to cheat, I think the two of you should remain faithful. What is good for you is good for your wife. So don't cheat. If you cheat and is in the mood of forgiving you, you better be getting ready also as a man to forgive her by the time she will do her own. One thing. I, I, I always tell people this. Sometimes women don't want to cheat. It's not like they want to cheat. It's just that they are not happy at the moment. And at that moment, they're not happy. One guy will just walk into their life and just start saying all of these beautiful things that they've been expecting their husband to say. The guy will just come on social media. The guy will just come at the office and start saying, Madam, you look beautiful today. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Is everything all right? Can I take you for dinner? Uh, do you want breakfast? Can I get you something? And then this man will become a genius, will be saying everything that the woman is expecting the man to say. In the house. And you know the psychops, they know what is going on. They know exactly what to do. It's not like the woman is preparing to cheat. It's not cheating. He's only looking for a shoulder to lean on. He's looking for someone to listen to her pain. But in that point when you're listening to them and you're responding with the right words, you're saying exactly what you're supposed to say to them. And you're not blaming them. And you're not saying, oh, it's, you're saying it's not your fault. 
Are you saying it's not your fault? They start looking at you as the ideal person. This is the man that, oh my God, do you understand? They say, yes, I do understand. They're looking for someone to understand. They're looking for someone to shut up and listen. And shut up and listen to them. And in that process, you know, you're doing it the first time, the second time, the third time, their heart, their heart we start going towards that direction. They want to get to see that guy again. They want to get to chat with that guy again. They want to get to do video call with that guy again. And that's how they get drifted. And then they get drifted. And sometimes when they finish doing it, and then they feel like, oh my God, how did I fall into this? Or, oh my God, how? How did I get in here? And instead of them keeping quiet, they will not. And that's when they look for one close, stupid friend that is not close, that is so very stupid, and they go and share that secret with that person. Do you think, do you know I did something wrong? Say, what did you do? What is? What have you done now? You know, I slept with him. Who did you sleep with? This guy. And that's the same stupid friend that we now carry the news everywhere until the news we get to the husband. Because women... They hate women. Women hate women. They're jealous of themselves, of each other. They're jealous of each other. They, 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 they're jealous of other people. They say, okay, that, one that be more shit that. Hey, okay, now you have cheated. I have a secret in my hand. I'm going to mess your marriage up too. There is not an intention for some of these women to cheat. They were just looking to leave. I don't know probably you what uh, 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 that movie Fence. The movie called Fence by Denzel. That woman told that man, he said, I've been standing by you for 18 years. I've been living your life for 18 years. You don't think I want to lie down on a bed somewhere with another man and I want him to make me happy too? Because they want me to happy too. And you see, you know, that, that short clip, Actually, I played it over 200 times. Over 200 times I played it. Then I don't know what's going on in my wife's mind. Maybe she's been living my life too. And now, me, I'm cheating. And I'm ignoring her. I'm taking her for granted. All right? And she's living my life, taking care of me, taking care of my kid, cooking my meal, having sex with me, and doing all kinds of stuff. And then me, I'm in a hotel room, Allowing another woman to rub my chest and say, Shola, you so handsome. Oh my God, you're the best. You're this, you're that, and everything. And I'll laugh. <laughs> but as a woman at home, this woman at home here is doing everything for the past 32 years. Now, the woman now is voicing it out and say to him, You don't think I want to be happy too? I'm not happy in this relationship. You have ignored me, ignored me many times. You don't even touch me anymore. We don't even have any conversation in this home. Every time we have a conversation, it's always fight. You're always yelling and shouting 24-7. I want to lie down in a place, in a hotel room with another person who's going to make me happy too. All right? But they get deprived of that because they are women. They get deprived of that because they are women and their mothers. And they always think about what kind of what kind of training am I giving my kids if they should find out that I'm sleeping with another man? What kind of what kind of training am I giving to my girls? What am I trying to show my boys? So women always want to be in the best behavior so that, you know, so that they, they, they want to be a good mother. They want to be a good parent to their kids. All right? And then eventually they get blamed for everything. Oh, the marriage didn't work. Women. Oh, you are abusive. Women. Oh, you are not respectful. Women. Oh, the house is dirty. Women. Oh, you are not having sex with me. Women. Oh, we are not making a lot of money. Women. And then they get blamed for everything. You know, women get blamed for not having babies. That they, have, they don't have anything to do with. That at the end of the day, maybe the man is the one... That couldn't produce sperm. But the woman get blamed for it. Because man, we keep quiet. The media we are expecting grandbaby, oh, ah, if I always are all, talk to my wife, oh. We are asking the man, the woman is not the fault. It's not the fault of the woman. It's the fault of the man, but they will never talk about it. 
They won't talk about it. They won't open up and say, Mommy, I mean, yes, you know, well, Mommy, I mean, we only produce this man, oh. Mommy, I mean, we only say, they will never open up that part of them to nobody, but everybody believes that it is the woman that makes babies. So the moment there is no baby in the house, they start looking at the woman and say, Oh, so leave me money, are you not going to have babies and stuff? And they get blamed. You know? So all of this stuff actually put together is putting a lot of pressure on women. And then the men are not, and the men, they are not that sensitive to understand the position of a woman in the home that those people are doing too much. Those people, they're doing a lot. They need help. They need love. They need loyalty. You see, when you are loyal to a woman, she won't mind dying. When you are faithful to a woman, she won't mind taking 10 jobs just to make sure you live a good life. When you are faithful to a woman, she will pray for your prosperity. When you are faithful to a woman, she will do everything to respect you and make you have so much peace. When you are loyal to a woman, she will be happy all her days. When you are loyal to a woman, I'm telling you, she will open her leg every minute, every second. Because at that point in time, she knows that my husband is loyal to me. That's the energy. That's the energy. That's the energy. That's the energy right there. They're doing a lot. Forget about paying bills. Women, 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 they can pay the bills. Forget about making a being a breadwinner. Women can bake cakes. They will they will do more than making, they will do more than you know winning bread. They will win cake for you. You know what I'm saying? You see a lot of men that are struggling today, they are not prosperous. It's because you are not sensitive here. The moment you are sensitive and you look at that woman that God has given unto you as a blessing, ah! Ah! That's the day, that is going to be the day that you start seeing a difference. You start seeing a difference in your life. When you see that woman God has given unto you, she might be jobless now. She might be nonsense person right now. She might not be the kind of woman you want right now. But I'm telling you, show her love and show her kindness. Show that woman love and show that woman kindness. You'll see how she's going to transform. She's going to change and you'll see the kind of power she will come with and you won't believe yourself. I told you guys the story of that man who brought his wife from Nigeria. We brought his wife from Nigeria. They came over here to the state. And uh, the man was already working. He didn't believe the wife could make any money. And that's fine. So the man said, I am not doing joint account with you. Uh, I'll pay the bills. I'll give you money for upkeep. And that's it. And that was what he was doing. While he's leaving for work, he will put three envelopes on the table. One for rent. One for upkeep. And the other one for school fees. Uh, uh, and that was what he was doing. And this woman got motivated. Got motivated. Olume said, David, those good men, they marry the wrong person. So when we are talking, we talk about marrying the right person and do what you need to do. That's what we're saying. All right. So the man said, no, no joint account and stuff. And the woman got motivated with that. They got motivated with that. By that stuff. Like me. Omonili Omolono. Now I'm in America, I'm just a full-time housewife, and you are just leaving envelopes on the table and stuff like that. That actually was the motivation for her. She went to school. She passed. Went to school of nursing. LPN, she passed. Went to Karen, she passed. She got a job, and she was making money. And this woman started making $7,000 at, a, at, a, at a time. Everything was between five to six years of she moving here to the U.S. The first day she came, the husband said, no joint account. At that time, the man was only making $4,000 a month. So she started making $7,000. And then the husband came with the wahala. And then they came to me for counseling. And then I asked the man, what do you need? What do you want? He said, I want joint account. 
I said, sir, you can't. You voted against it. You are the one that said no joint account. You can't change it right now. What you did was that you, you looked down on the woman. You believe she, she is nothing. Oh, this one can't make it. It is only a Nigerian woman that you will see pregnant. She is pregnant. And she, and then two other tiny kids. And she's still going to school of nursing. And she will be studying and cooking. A Nigerian woman, you will see them dragging their kids to school. You see them pregnant, going with one hand on the back and they are strolling like this and stuff. And she will do it until she will pass exam. And the day of the exam is actually two days after she put to bed. She will jump out of bed and walk all the way down the road and take her exam and will still pass. Only Nigerian women do that. Only Nigerian women do that. All right? So whenever they say it's uh, International Women's Day, International Women's Day, we're supposed to celebrate women. We're supposed to celebrate women. We're supposed to. All right? When they say International, for International Women's Day, they are doing a lot. Doing a lot. You can't do, we can't do joint account right now. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You messed up from the start. You messed up from the start. We can't do, we can't do that right now. All right, so this woman got caught and then now there is no forgiveness because there is no forgiveness. No. All right, but flipping it, but flipping it, you will see that there are certain women right now out there, they divorced their husband for cheating, but now they themselves, they are side chicks to another man, another married man. Another married man. You see, I don't want to go into it right now. I don't want to go into it right now because I have a class by 2. Uh, I have a class. My students are going to be waiting for me by 2 o'clock. So maybe after my class, I'll come back and I'll come and talk about that part of it. Talk about that part of it. It's always good for Nigerian men to build their wives. And I've said it. It's not because of today, but because of tomorrow. You might go to work and not come back. That's not our prayer, but it's going to happen one day. You might sleep and not wake up. We're not praying for that, but it's going to happen one day. Accidents do happen. Regardless of your prayer, you're still going to die. And when you die, how do you want your wife to survive? How do you want your wife to survive? So, 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 to survive? How do you want your kids to be taken care of? How? And that's the part that you need to think about. How? And that's why you need to upgrade your wife, invest in your wife, build your wife. So in case something happened to you, even while you're still alive, she will be able to take care of business. Many of our men, they are not happy when a woman is successful. Many of our men don't celebrate the success of their wives. They see marriage more like a competition. They compete. I don't think you should compete with your wife. She's a follower. She's a helpmate. Okay? And sometimes a helpmate may be making more money than the person that is leading. Doesn't matter. And stop your mommy from saying, Oh, look at that end. Oh, look at that end. Oh, stop. Stop your mommy from saying, What is it? 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 What is it?
Tell your mommy, be mommy, oh, that be me, oh, I see Kimi, oh, you know. But I see Ki, I want me to be me by you, oh, you know, I see Kimi, oh, Tim, I see Ki, I tell him, oh, but he blow me, oh, blow me, oh, for example, you want me to blow, oh, you say me, oh, so tell your mommy to stop, yama, yama, be oh, I see Ki, I run, oh, where's the entire year, oh, you see, I see Kimi, oh, yeah, I want to let you boost, I see Ki, eh, well, I see Ki, oh, more, oh, more, all right, then you celebrate the person with the real I see Ki. Oh, lots of mommy, go tell your mommy. Hey, mommy, bubu nyama nyama tema sorry. This nyama nyama mommy, you are talking. You are just talking rubbish, oh. Me only I see kini, oh. And you are daddy going and I see kio. Let's say kusi poverty, then kusi yo. Mommy, I see kiti ina. If you I see kiti, daddy me on me. Your daddy go on I see kiti. But you want people I see kiti less person here. You are I see kiti less. Oh, ne I see kiti kaka. Okay, now you are so lucky that at the end of the day, you know. You find a girl that is with ICK, and the ICK is now building your own ICK right now. That's why they they took you out of poverty like this. Is it right now? Everything you are sending to your mommy, the money you are sending to your mommy, that your mommy is talking rubbish. You better tell your mommy, I don't have ICK. Oh, even to buy ICK, no low ICK. To buy the end low. Even if they are using my ICK, it don't matter low low. ICK is in seven phone or seven me. I see Kenya, I see Jebemi. I just come home, look. Let her be using it. It is not working for me, you know. He likes to kill his person. He likes to kill those of who likes to kill one. What he likes to kill you. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? I'm telling you. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's better. It's better for us to, as men, let's let's do better. Your wife is not a competitor. Your wife is not a competitor. Your wife is not a competitor. You know, so you, you, you need to understand that part of it. You know, uh, make sure, make sure that your foundation is right. Make sure that your foundation is right. You know, you have to plant the right foundation. Don't just uh, don't just do anything. You know, be intentional about what you want to do, and build your foundation correctly. Build your foundation correctly. Don't allow your foundation to be faulty. Tik milemba baje kusin tulo dodo mashi. Marry right. Don't marry wrong. If you marry wrong, you will suffer. Marriage is actually a thing of life. And the moment there are kids inside, divorce is not going to feel like divorce. Divorce won't feel like divorce. You know, some divorce, you know, some people will divorce and you still see them having fun together. You know, I just stumbled on some couples that they have been divorced now for years but they still have sex. And they told me, it seems like we are good as friends. We are not good as husband and wife. So they still have sex. And they're taking care of their children. And some people will divorce. And it's going to still be battle and problem from day one until that man or woman will die. They will use children as weapon of battle. They want to collect your money and render you useless. They want to collect your house. They want to collect your job. They want to take your business. They want to take everything that belongs to you just to render you useless. 
And in that kind of a case, you cannot breathe. That's when you start cursing the day you were born, the day you met her, the day you met him. All right? It's always very terrible. So that's why foundation is important. Don't marry a guy because he's driving a BMW. Don't marry a guy because he's got a six pack and tall. Don't marry a guy because he walks in Wall Street. Don't marry a woman because he's got the big breasts and big bum bum. Oh, I love her lips. Oh my gosh, she's freaky freaky. Because she's freaky freaky, she will freaky freaky your life. When the day of peace will come, you know, you know, you know, when we are still very, very young, we always like women that are freaky freaky. A day will come in your life that all you want is just peace. I'm telling you, all you want is just peace. You know what I'm saying? Oh, me I just want peace. The body is old. And at this time, you just want peace. At that point in time, that woman don't want peace. And then she will frustrate your life. High blood pressure will catch you. Diabetes will catch you. I'm telling you, you go get gonorrhea without sleeping with person. They will start diagnosing all manners of things about your life. And then before you get to know it, then you die. And then you die. And then they just hear that you die and you're gone. Alright? Instead of giving yourself peace, you won. You know, things that will give you a problem, that's what you look for. Alright? You cannot even talk. You're a very, very smart man that is quiet and easy going. But you won't find another easy woman to marry. Ele to ma gbe mi e, wo to ma gbe mi e lo ma wa pa mi nku. Pa mi nku obirin lo ma wa ka kiri. Ma pa mi nku ori 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 sagbe loju yo yo, o be mo. You don't understand that there are some women that are good for musicians. They are not good for musicians. Some women are good for uh, celebrity thugs. They are not good for a professional like you. You godly guy, godly guy, easy going guy. Those ones are not good for you. But it is your brain that is talking to you. It is your penis that is talking to you. And that penis will put you into a problem. I'm telling you. will put you into a problem one day. Okay? <laughs> you will you, be shocked. You will be shocked. I don't know how far it's true, but... <clears throat> they told me about a musician. That one musician, this uh, musician got married to one beautiful yellow papa woman. And all of us believe that that's going to be the last one. Uh, but that musician right now, Okay, now he's now dating another woman now. He's dating another woman right now. Dating another woman right now. Ah, uh, I know my class. I know my class is supposed to start by two, so I already messaged the the lady that I won't be doing class today. <laughs> that it seems like I'm so much into what I'm doing all night. So you should please sorry, we'll take class tomorrow. Or join my six o'clock class. You okay? And, and, and that's just it. And that's just it. Let us be careful. Let us be careful. Okay? All right. So, you will need peace. Ah, what well, peace will need? My big 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 big. My down is real long. My down is real long. My big well big. My big my big shag belu do yo yo. My big content in where you ka. Ira ke ira my big sugar. Ti ira ba ti big sugar o toni eh. O di ara orokun ara oradiye adiye to ba lokun ara orokun ara oradiye iduro si bero si feni to gbodomi ni o to ba ti lo gbodomi ba ipere o ton ni e won pe eni mr gbodomi ko si sin mi that won't be peace you will be jumping from one place to another place looking for peace that won't be i came across one woman ba Woman, ah, don't go lie, don't go lie. This woman told the husband, We no divorce for me and you, Lilo. you cannot go. Sorry, that a for a for word boutique that you cannot go. You cannot go. We are here in this situation together. She will go and meet him at the side chick house. 
She will tell the side chick, I am not here for you. Good job, you are taking care of my husband, though. Please, Lord Tebawa, go and make a bar. I am eating here. Me and you and our husband, we are eating together here. I will bring the children during the weekend. Let them come and know you, that this is their daddy's hangout place. All right? Lord Tebawa, go and make a bar. Let us eat. Go and make a bar. The woman who gave problems. She, whenever there is a situation in the house, she will call the side chick, say, hey, Sister Lara, come on. Our husband is going crazy, yo. Mabo. And the side chick will come. When I was, the, man, the man is going to be looking like Dundee United. He'll be looking like this. Huh? I am in trouble. Now. What, 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 what have I caused for my life? What have I caused for my life like this? Why? What is this? At the end of the day, let me tell you, the man decided he wants to run to Nigeria. Oba, Oba, be in heaven, yo. Say, oh, you want to run? Oh, le lo. He be too bad, lo ba, I don't know, no, did he kolo kolo, I got it. He be tired about the lo, ni kolo kolo, and tell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, le nisi mi laye, I will take all your peace. I will take all your joy. I will destroy you. You will die. I will eat all your property. I will collect everything. Everything. Met the woman there. They have to come back to the state together. Say, kill us all again. What are you talking? It's for life. Marriage is for life, oh. I, I don't care what people are saying. I don't care what Dr. Shola is saying yama, yama, on, his, on his show. I am not divorcing you. You are not divorcing me. Uh, we are not. There is nothing like divorce that is going to occur. I tell you guys, the moment your foundation is wrong, you cannot fix it. If you say, oh, I'm going to get divorced. Divorce all you like. It's a story. That history is actually going to be part of your life. The moment there are kids, go and get married all you like. You will still deal with the same person. Because kids are involved. All right? And then the game that women play with kids. Ah. Ah. The kind of game that women play with kids is too much. It's too much. And that's why we are advising. Take your time. Don't rush into marriage because of big breasts and big bum bum. Oh, she's freaky in bed. She can somersault. She's summer sugar. She can do helicopter. She can do touch your toe. She can do spider. Ah, we, we, we barrow is a specialty. All of that stuff don't rock marriage. All that stuff don't run marriage at all. They don't. Ah, Mario Lomwe. Mario, she can go 20 rand without thinking. Oh, Kogire. Ah, oh my. Mario, those things, they don't rock marriage. No rock marriage at all. And I want you to have it at the back of your mind. Ah, Omare, Omansu, you're going to get into marriage, the fire is going to go away. The two of you will insult each other. You will talk to each other one kind. And at the end of the day, you will get tired. You will get disconnected. Every day sex will no longer be every day. It's going to be once upon a time. And that time you will actually look for peace. You will be begging for peace. Kill a fucking shit. I made the mistake. Let's, let's. Let's let's leave it. Let's go. You know, can we live our lives? Can you stop nagging? Can you stop talking about the past? Why can't you just forgive and forget the past? I promise you it's not gonna happen again. I promise you. It's never you know the woman no go green. He no go green, she no go green. She go green now now now. 30 minutes time, can you call judge a local? 30 minutes time, can you call judge a local judge? You just come. Therapy, no, they work for those kind of women. And I'm telling you, my big gilera, I big jule, the gilera. Let me go. Before you guys would think, Bemo Puffo. So, can I tell you so that you guys will not be thinking, Bemo Puffo? I big jule, only gilera. Toba big gilera. Ah, why julene? 
a jule. He do wrong si, he bere o si, fe ni to go domini. He don't swallow mortar. <laughs> he who swallows mortar will not have peace. That's Igbo. Igbo people will say, he who swallow the mortar will not know peace. You have swallowed mortar. No matter how good you are as a man, be good, be, be able to clean, be able to cook, be able to do all manners of things. Nobody be gilera or be near. Be gilera. I be you lady gilera. And that's it. You can't. That's it. Don't marry based on prophecy, yo. Don't marry based on prophecy, yo. I'm the one telling you now. Don't marry based on prophecy. Don't say, eh, eh, Pastor Kwari ran si me. Eh, wuli kolo so kwe kine kan. Eh, my prophet. Eh, ni eh, pali ayib. I'm telling you. Eh, ni eh, pali. You go and marry based on prophecy. What be weary for me? Weary. We don't boogie jello, Mary. You better take your time. Pray to your own God by yourself. Let God direct you. Let God direct you. You see, these this women, that one will leave man for you. Why don't you be your mama? Ah! Oh, that's a religious women. They're very religious. They run their life based on prophets and pastors. Oh mama, oh 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 what is your can long body? What is your can long body? They remove something from the body. From the body, the brain is not working again. The brain is not working. And you see some brothers too. So go to one marry leu leu. One marry leu leu. What can he do? He did one. I'm married. I'm married. So go to go to one. I'm married. Pip 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 pip. You know, you know, go to my boyfriend here. They will just give that one to him. Psycho, you know? Psycho. They call them. <laughs> It took a long time. It took a long time. <laughs> T and V. It took a long, yeah. It took a long time for me to realize whenever we say psychedelic, psychedelic, psychedelic. I, it took a long time. I didn't know that whenever you say baby was psychedelic, I said yeah, we don't know, baby. <laughs> If you see a girl and they say she's psychedelic, man, don't go there. <laughs> Bro, no, this is not going to live, live. <laughs> let me leave you. Let me leave you guys alone. <laughs> Uh, let me leave you guys alone and go before I go scatter all this table with <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> I have to go because if I don't go. I will say some things I'm not supposed to say on this show. I don't want to do that. There are some pastors that are watching me so that they will not remove, remove me from the pastor's association. <laughs> so, you know, it's good to, you know, it's very, very good for you to know your God by yourself. Know your God by yourself. You know, pray to him. <laughs> pray to him by yourself. I gotta go. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys later down the road. Where can I go? I want to drink Agbo. I, I want to drink my Agbo. 
There's, I'm one of boo here. You see? You see this ago? Ah! Mm. Ah! Mm. Oh, man. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. You stay there. Ah. <laughs> this agbo, eh? There is, uh, there is, uh, coconut water. Omi agbo. There is omi agbo inside. You know, so it is the Omi Agbon that you use in soaking it for three days. You soak it for three days in Omi Agbon. Ah! 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 ah. Oh, power this is it. All right. What does it do to the body? It will make your body go. That's how your body will be doing. You enjoy when your body goes like. <laughs> That's that that I go. Oh me I go. Oh me I go. I want ah daily. Oh to be on the whole time. Oh me I try. Oh me I go. Ah. This thing is too, it's too much, man. Ah. Dear Makunio, do. Deliver not try. Only we are going to what? Only. Only we are going to be psyched. We are going to secret recipe. We are going to secret recipe, Abby. No, we are going to. We are going to. Ah. I'm not gonna lie, this thing's jacking my body like. Ah. No, it's not only for men, women can take it too. It's good for women. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Umi Agbon. You have to have Agbon. I actually bought 23 Agbon. Agbon 23. You buy 23 Agbon and then you put the water inside. <laughs> Deliver that bowl. And then you, you pour it inside and soak it for three days. After three days, you start drinking it. You start drinking it. And what she said about it? She said, well, she said, damn. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Coconut water is anti cancer. If you are if you are we are anti cancer, are you? Oh God! You have to take this thing like two times in a day. You take it in the morning and then you take it at night. But me, I missed the morning time, so I'm taking it right now. I'll take it later in the night. Ah. All right, guys. I gotta go. Let me go make some more mo some more money today. Uh, 
make some money. I'm gonna make some money. So I'll see you guys later by the grace of God. Um, if you have not joined my network, please go ahead and join. Don't stay outside. Join my network and uh, enjoy the rest of the shows. I almost died after taking a demand. I ain't trying to me I got this. <laughs> Is it almost? <laughs> I took a demand on this morning. Two times already. Two times already a demand. I took a demand twice already today. Twice. How can I join, sir? Join what? You follow my page. If you have not followed my page, follow my page on Instagram. So you enjoy the rest of it. And if you want to see my uh, my other videos, uh, you have to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. It's just four ninety nine in the month, uh, and then you'll be able to watch the, all of my live shows that are actually for now set up as uh, set up for uh, people who are who subscribe. Okay, John. You're looking for a recipe. No, you're not going to get a recipe now. You have to call me. I have to sell the recipe to you now. You know me now. I'll be, I'll be money maker. I'll be make money. <laughs> Why do you think I'm going to wound your mommy on, on Monday? Today is Monday now. Today is Monday. I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything to your mommy. I'm not doing your mommy G.O.D. No. You don't do TikTok. I, I used to do TikTok. I went hand on low and read TikTok. People, people on TikTok that hand up, hand on people, hand on you. Whenever I go on TikTok, I'm like, you know, what are these people doing? What are these people doing? Uh, you know? And the man who will take you to early grave if you are not careful. Have you tried it daily? You need to try it though. Try the menu, you like it. TikTok is a crazy place. I don't want to come to this TikTok. I I try it once in a while anyway. So something happened to my page on TikTok. I joined I joined uh, I I joined a group on, on uh, TikTok and then my page got shadow banned. So I didn't get people to see my post anymore. Yeah, you can give me gift here too. Brown brown skin girl. Give me give me badge here now. Put the badge there. Let's see now. All this preparation for the weekend, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Me, I don't know, maybe now weekend thing over. Me, I know they wait on the weekend now. Why 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 do you think I'm gonna wait on the weekend? I don't have to wait on the weekend. Myself, you don't want to buy me You don't want to buy me any. You don't want to buy me any. You all are doing it. You know that kind of stuff. All are doing it. All are doing it. Anywhere, I don't want to buy me any. Say, bare, lonely Monday, eh, elebe wa, eje kamura, kabadu. Ori dele, dele don't throw away something. Brown skin girl, you know. Oh, leave me alone. What the? Only TikTok doesn't have me low. Alright, I gotta go. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.